Hey guys, I'm gonna watch this uh, replay called Like a True Woman. <clears throat> One of my friends sent it. I actually don't know what battle is or what it's about, but uh, we're gonna see. Obviously, uh, when you see this, you will already know what it's about because I will put that in the title. But uh, let's see what it's about, yeah? Is that on use skill? That is on use skill. Yeah, I think he said that as well. So what is this? Is this a 32k battle? That is a lot of... Is a lot of... How many is that? Two, four, six. Oh, no, of, co of course he moves them. So anyway, it's a 1v1. SPQR versus... Skippy I think it's a 1v1, right? Yeah. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 13, Evan Colt, I think. And he has two legionary first cohorts. Right? Yeah, some, something like that. What does he have here? Two Archie Auxilia. Is that the only cav he has? Oh, it's not a lot of cav. If this is a uh, 31k, did I say 32k? I'm in 31k. This is a 31k battle, that is a very weird setup. But then again, this is a quite unusual map, so I can see why you might want to get more infantry. And well, you're probably not going to get archers just because, even though archers can be good if you really pick your shots, with this large amount of money, you just really want some other troops. We all know what happens when Archie's one out of hours here, right? So maybe we're just gonna set. He's just sitting up here, so uh, let's speed it up a little bit. See when they start. I like this setup. Not many people do it like this, but it, it prevents any gaps, and it makes it easy to like if if you engage here, you can easily one these around. So I like this setup. It can look a bit clumsy at first, but it's actually pretty organized. It sucks that it isn't a function, like uh, just a single line and a double line, it should be a, a line like this. Like with X amount of space, uh, pace, uh, spaces in between all that. Alright, so we've got the legionary first chords here that can really be stretched out. So uh, let's put them... Um, let's just leave it here because he's moving. So what, is, what does this guy have? Legionary first cohort. Probably just spammed them, didn't he? Three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So he has fifteen legionary first course and two archers today, and I suppose also can. So it seems like this is a sort of a test between what's best: ribbon course or legionary first course. I'm not sure. If you just test them straight up, like in an AI battle. Uh, the legionary first cohort will usually prevail if everything's equal. Only by a, a tiny margin. And I hate to say that because every cohort is by far my favorite unit. Uh, I want that one to be the strongest unit. If you give it 9 chevrons and gold attack and gold defense. But uh, it will actually still lose to uh, the max uh, legionary first cohort. But then again, there are like 50% more units, so... And then it, then it's still pretty equal. So let's see who's gonna move first here. In this sort of map, it can be hard to get people to move because they're all in such a good position. Obviously this guy has the best position from this hill if he decides to stay there. It'd be even better if you moved over here and like... Put yourself like that. It's not going to be that unfair though. So who is this? This is Sue Eccleston? Eccleston. Is that what it says? Sue Eccleston. And... Phoenix... Phoenix... Kukasenkaha of... Kineshian. Yeah, I absolutely butchered that name.
this is gonna be an interesting battle here. I'm curious to see how the Peter is gonna work. I'm not sure if this. Okay, here, here you go. Oh, uh, they decided to move around here in the middle, I assume. But Koga is still gonna be a pretty big disadvantage here. And although he could one up here and one around, perhaps. This is really gonna be a very infantry heavy battle. We just have a general that's just the, the cab and, and a couple archers. The archers could definitely be devastating if used well. It might seem pointless, but they're definitely not, not especially not if you flank and you, you play you played smart. But what I think what is most likely gonna happen is that the archers are just gonna neutralize neutralize each other. Uh, but we'll see. Koga is definitely gonna gonna use these guys to soak up some peeler and get a huge peeler advantage by not losing too many men. He can really fire back. I'd be very surprised if Koga loses. I'd say uh, this is like 10 to 1 odds or whatever. Like, uh, it's a huge favorite. This guy's a huge dog. Seems like these guys are out of place. Oh well, this guy's. He can't wait to get into it. Right, so let's uh, play normal here. Yeah, so as predicted, the yeah, archers are already going down. Well, I don't know what this guy's doing. Why is he not shooting? It's like he lines his troops up before he wants to shoot. That was a mistake. Look how many he's lost already. He lost like 30. Like 20% already almost. This, this is not good for uh, SP, SPQR, I'm just gonna call him Sue. This is terrible. But okay, Koga was the one uh, who was just defending here. And he does have a slight hill advantage here. Though he had fairly equal. Wow, he's, he's not even targeting these archers. Uh, so Koga can actually, with one archer, you can destroy both of these archer units here. What are they even shooting at? General? Yeah, I don't know. This guy is making a huge mistake. I don't know if he's a noob, but that's a terrible mistake. Oh, he's okay. They got, he got four archers. Okay. But I bet they ain't shooting at what they are supposed to either, are they? No. He's just shooting these guys, which is completely pointless. I wish I, that, That's my issue with huge battles, that you cannot zoom out enough. It's weird that he hasn't redirected his fire. He could at least shoot his cavalry then. Well, yes, kill the couple. Doesn't he? Oh, is it a woman armor general? No, he hasn't killed anyone then. That 49 is full. I assume Kuga is trying to. Uh, Make this guy shoot his general. It's not necessarily a bad idea. But the thing about um, uh, here in Mongol War, the artists, uh, like their, what, 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 what do you call it? Um, I forgot what it's called. Like, it doesn't matter if you might cool really well or you move your units out of the way, but the arrows will still pursue you. It's not like if these guys shoot the, the horses and the horses are here. Well, if I was them over here, well, then they don't get hit. No, the arrows are magically going to follow them, which doesn't make any sense, but it's for balance reasons. Otherwise, you could be really easily abused. But it could be a fun uh, system, though, where you could tell your archers to shoot a bit ahead of the, where they're going, or a mix, so they it's a mix that they choose themselves, like... Let's say if there's three options, then 
further yachts will do this, the further yachts will do this, it's completely random. We don't want too much randomness in, in games like this though. So here we go with the first pila I think. No? Should be any second. Well, these guys are getting hammered, but it's terrible still. He's saving his pila and he's wasting all of his pila just on these guys. And these guys are not even in loose formation. So they lost around 90. Uh, 87 or whatever. 86. Eighty-nine. They lost 70 so far. But all of these units are intact. He's basically wasting all his guys' uh, pila with just these two. So the game is already over now. It's just a, it's just a matter of mobbing up now for Koga. I hope that it doesn't win the tension too much. I haven't lost any. The arch is going forward to to uh, take that Peter. Yeah, so is, this is definitely a very new player. That's some big mistakes. But but Koga is doing a good job being organized, yeah. So it's not only because this guy sucks. Plus he's decent but he's making just basic mistakes. Like especially with these arches. It just shouldn't happen. It's a bad mistake just to leave them on a fired bull. I mean, if you're gonna do that, at least do it selectively. I'll just put them all on it. It's just bad. Because then you might waste your pila even by an accident. You, you never wanna do that. Look how many he lost here. Oh, he lost a lot here. Oh, he actually lost a ton here. It must have been when he moved them. He doesn't kill too many. Oh, well, just killed these two. They're attacking us! He's making a few mistakes here. Like this this one should really be in a loose formation. I assume you might have thought that this guy was completely out of pila. I mean this guy does have more pila just because more units, that's it. But he's still gonna use them uh, as fast. One thing that's worth noting though is if these guys, let's say half of these can't th throw Pila, but these guys can, then sometimes what can happen is these guys will keep firing Pila and they will pretty much fire up Pila until this whole unit won't have any Pila left. So in theory, you can say that these guys are getting a Pila from those. So you can have some units that are in an insanely good position. Why don't it be a couple of units or like 10, 20 units uh, who's in that good, who's in super good position? Uh, so, so it might take a while, but you're really gonna get a lot out, out of your shit. Anyway, he needs his general here, he does. Good. It's patrolling cap? This guy needs to try and use his numbers to surround and get a huge advantage. But I have a feeling Coca can use his uh, cap really well. 
to uh, neutralize that. But I think this canvas. Okay, it's warmed up. It's not tired. Yeah, he's definitely losing a lot. But this is just such a bad position. See, now he should have been firing his Peter whenever he moves. Did you try and get rid of his, this cap? And then use his archers to go around and his units. Because if he's just in a straight up fight, he's on a timer. It depends on the upgrades, of course. I mean, these guys can still uh, still beat these. So it's, it, yeah, it's, it's probably more equal than I, I was thinking. There we go, there we go, with the flanking. Oh, he's clumping up way too much though. These guys should not be going in right away. They should be wanting and he should be using those guys. He should want these guys this way and that way. And here we come for Vercab and he's not reacting. I was suspecting that Vercab would come here. He needs to be, be on top of that or he's gonna lose this. And he also needs to use guard mode like Koga is. Long they're lasting just because of the guard mode. Do you see what Koga is doing here? He's just going as up close as as, as, as close as he can uh, in the other guy's face here uh, to antagonize him to attack him. So uh, he has the, the advantage. There we go, first route, finally. But it's pretty much all dead. And he's not flanking. See, this unit, this one needs to flank. And he needs to have his cav. And he's not doing that. This is going to be a huge route for, uh, for SPQR. He's going to route like this. Be too late. Oh, it's a bad charge, though. Yeah, I think the the power is pretty even. I was thinking maybe he could withdraw one unit. He might be able to, but uh, maybe this one. Might be possible just to help out quickly. But he needs to use these soon. There we go, it's a nice peeler. I don't know why he's not charging in with his own. Who doesn't love a nice fight like this one? It's nice to see the urbans prevail prevail here. Are we gonna see any charges coming? Should probably turn around. Charge is not the best. You want to have your cavalry facing them before you do it. Because if you just, if they're facing this way and then you attack, it's not always that the the attack is going to be uh, as coherent. 
And depending on how thick you make your wanks, more of an impact they will have as well. So I'm not liking the charges too much. That's pretty much the only thing keeping SPQR alive, that the charges are not the best. But uh, as you can see, SPQR's units are slowly but surely getting tired, and uh, that's going to be a huge advantage here for Koga with his fresh units. He's trying to push on the right side though to make a difference. He is succeeding, but uh, Koga is on top of it here. If he doesn't use his cap, he's he's just gonna lose. He needs right now to go all in and you and try to round him with wherever he can. And he needs to start using guard mode because his his units over here are gonna be really tired. They're already very well tired here, and they're gonna break if uh, Koko makes a proper charge. But. Being on the defensive is always good, and if you can be on the on the offensive and then make yourself on the def defensive, like moving up and then just stopping, that is really good. You can still put your units inside the other, so both your units are in guard mode. It's it's at least it's at least better than than this. Still not perfect, but it's better than this. And I don't know why he's charging like this. But they're they're all out here. He's he's almost all his units committed here. It's actually gonna be Cook who can surround soon. I wish I had like a kill counter. I could just see it, like just like dribble, or, like a death counter, whatever. How many lives it's back? You have that in me me uh, what's it called? Uh, Midi Wall Two. Reinforcements you can see. That's pretty cool. The caviar is going to wrap very soon. 26, and then he has no general. I think he's going to wrap when he goes down to 15. Oh, it's going to be 10 then, maybe. Okay, he's retreating now. Keep in mind, these guys have two hit points. They're stronger. So we should see some rout running soon going on. There we go, that's the first one. And now it should be a chain route. He is a bit weak here. I'll probably put this unit over here to support. Put that one in there, there, there. But it's it's still okay like this. Yes, okay, we have this one here. Are the archers out? Yeah, they are. So here we go with a chain route, and he still has the cavalry ranger. So there we go, that's two three units routing. Now we cap here. If he can get rid of his general, that would be excellent. Ah, oh, this is just beautiful fighting. Beautiful, I love it. How many does he have? Seventeen. Oh, but he's too inactive with these, that is a problem. He only has these these guys left to commit. He's very disorganized. He's getting himself flanked. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. Are these guys going to Studo? Well, oh, that is not going too well for them. He has like a hundred guys, so that is a that's stupid to waste them like that. Oh beautiful. Can we ride these guys too? I think he's gonna admit defeat here. There we go. Demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. So GG. It's always beautiful to see all this carnage. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at these kills. Ah, uh, it's it's your scale, of course, but uh, I'm not used to seeing this high. The highest I usually see is like around three thousand or so. 
a bit uh, below that. 3,285 till 3,856 had 1,693 remaining. Uh, that's for Koka and Sue had 4,383 units. Killed 1,859 and had 500, 511 back. So which one did the greatest here? Roman General did pretty good. Oh, he lost a full unit there. Surprising. 200, 250, 282. Always nice to see. Keep in mind, 240 is uh, pretty much a... Uh, that's a full uh, legionary first score. Or 242, 243, whatever. 242, right? Yeah, 242. The general one's there, 243. 3, 4, 3, 000, uh, 346. And you only lost 54. Might have been some routing units. And his archer auxiliary did great. Yeah, they pretty much killed uh If this is all archers, then they kill for like one, two, three archers. Yeah, one, three archers. So yeah, pretty good. I think they fought about uh, on the, around the most equal spot. There might have been a better spot somewhere else, like, I don't know, out there maybe. It was pretty, pretty... Uh, Pretty even. Yeah. So, uh, GG. Pretty fun game here. Because, uh, at least for me, I I was like uh, some Roman Carnage, Roman Civil War. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope to see you next time. So, uh, have a nice day, and uh, until next time, bye for now.